Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Human Revolution with me, Tomita75. And we're in a harvester hideout beneath Hengsha. We're surrounded by dead harvesters. I was actually looking for a side quest, but instead found the main quest, so I may as well head in and do that while we're here. That's far enough, Guaylo. we met? Because I'm sure I'd remember the man who got most of Hengsha biting its own tail to find him. A lot of Bell Tower heavies looking for you. And you reason I don't just turn you over. Yeah. Vasily Savchenko. Never touch the stuff. You're wearing his arm. GPL device inside it. Let me straight to you. Scavenged tech. Get you every time. Wrong woman, don't do that, you hear? Sorry to say, the man I got this from wasn't in a position to complain. Bell Tower gave us his corpse a few weeks ago. Bell Tower? Not Tai Young? Tai Young's not the one grabbing people off my streets and giving me choice arg, so I close my eyes. Sevchenko had four other scientists with him. I'm not wearing any of them. So maybe they're still alive, and maybe I help you out with this. Go on. I've got a pretty good idea where Bell Tower's been dragging people. Problem is, bastards got my son. And he gets a bullet if I step out of line. See where I'm going with this? Where's he being held? One of my harvester boys will tell you all about it. Meet him in the sewers near the Alice Garden pods. Then, when you free my boy, come back and we talk some more. I can hardly wait. Ooh. So. Can I, um. Can I take your money? He doesn't seem to mind. I'm going to read his book as well. Building Wings Are Better Tomorrow by David Sarif. Consider, if you will, a future where technology is unbound. In this environment, human beings are capable of reaching beyond the limits that nature imposes upon them, not just through the use of external technological apparatuses, but also through the merging of the human organism with cybernetic devices. We can, quite literally, build a better person. Life can become something that is not just a voyage where you are the passenger, at the whim of your DNA and the vagaries of an imperfect random biology. Life can be what we wish it to be, and our minds and bodies the canvas on which we can draw our own future. We can build wings if we wish to, and leave the cradle behind. The only limitations to where our flight will take us are our will, and our intellect. David, that's crazy talk. Can I, um... Take all of your stuff? Doesn't seem to mind, does he? Ooh... I once... I once a laser rifle and some spirits. I picked up some spirits earlier as well. I have two bottles now. Let's drink them and get really drunk. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, man that looks so good. Is it a replacement for the sniper? Rifle? Perhaps? I'm gonna drop it. Just temporary like. Just so I can have a look at this beauty. He doesn't mind. Oh, it's quite small. By comparison. Let's have a look. 
rate of fire is good, reload speed is terrible. Damage is pretty good. Ammo capacity is not bad. Use. Ammunition intensive, but packs a punch. The sustained beam can be moved around a bit to hit multiple targets with a single burst. A next generation firearm. The LS-66 laser rifle is a prototype constant beam battlefield laser weapon designed for engagements against enemy infantry and light armour. The weapon has limited range. Oh, it's not a replacement for a sniper then. And a long reload time is somewhat cumbersome compared to ballistic weapons. Hmm. It's tempting. It's really tempting. But... I'm gonna... Leave it behind. Was this for the laser rifle? Now this is for a plasma rifle, so I still might get to use it. If the plasma rifle replaces the sniper rifle, it probably won't. It'll probably be another short range weapon. We'll just have to see when we get one. But for now, I'm sticking with my sniper. As much as I'd love to see it in action, I'm an old fashioned kind of guy with old fashioned kind of guns. There doesn't seem to be much else here. There's not even anything hidden back here. Oh well. Let's get out of here. And... Let's head out. Towards Found the other blocked by supporters of the humanity front movement. The Shush. organization had received permission. We to wanted to head towards the other quest markers. How do I get out? Perhaps they feared what might happen once the hostage was the door. Um this way. Okay. Have I been through here yet? Ooh. There's a thing to hack. Definitely want to do that. So, ooh, that's quite complex. But not too complex. We can't take the big red thing. There is a, a reward here, but that's the only one. So, I'm just going to move here, and I'm going to cut through the soften, and there. Now, it doesn't matter if this detects, because we're right next to the exit. In fact, I can get that started now. See, we got a detection button. Access granted. It was way too late. No, what did I just unlock? A room with a body bag in it. And a damage upgrade. That's going on... Whatever I can use it on. The pistol. How close is that to full damage now? Um... Can take a little bit more. See, that's that's almost as damaging as the laser rifle. It's it's a pretty good pistol this now with all those upgrades I've thrown on it. But it could stand to be just a little bit better. Let's uh, read this. The Singularity Church of the Machine God, our manifesto. Have you ever wondered about the fate of our species? We exist in a time unlike any other, a time where man can go beyond the tyranny of flesh and embrace a new tomorrow. We share the belief of a manifest destiny for our species, 
a future where human instrumentality evolves into a form beyond our crude flesh and blood. The next evolution is near. A coming together of man and machine. A synthesis greater than the birth of the human organism. This is the singularity, the God in the machine. Many cultures predict an end to humanity in the near future, a final Armageddon that will end the world, but we disagree. We know the future of man. Join us, understand the path that unfolds before our species, grow beyond the bounds of flesh and blood. Embrace the singularity. Eh, uh, it's a pretty good speech. Now, ooh, another one. I like breaking walls down. Ye, Malik. No. She, she did die, and they're taking her apart. I thought there may have been a slim chance that she was actually just unconscious in that thing, but... Oh, man. I'm taking the electro electronics. They're not electronics, they're explosives. That's the correct word. I'm not taking the typhoon ammo. Um... Have I already been here? I don't remember this room. Huh? And I've not looted these guys. Tau, way ahead of you. The new lock has been installed and the code is 7920. Don't need it. Don't need lock codes. Can I can anything me? Um, Back again to Detroit. We're a handful I'll of take the EMP grenade. This evening, yet Don't remember this place. This time, patients attempting to access the second avenue. I must have been here because they're dead. Locked by supporters of the Humanity Front movement. Unless Farida killed them with her last breath. Don't think that's very likely, though. From Ma Siying to Ti Tung, sir, your new computer password is Mershids. The login is Ti Tung. Well, we've already been in that computer. The pro -human it wasn't had well protected. To in protest earlier in the week, I don't remember this room at all. Perhaps. There's another breakable wall. Right, this is where I came in, but I don't remember being here. Maybe I didn't kill these guys, maybe... Maybe someone else was playing. I don't know. I don't know. That may have just got me bearings mixed up, I suppose. Ah. Uh. That just leads up to here. Looks like I've been here. Right, I do remember this place. I do remember this place. There was a ladder there and I never saw it. Because there's another hole in the wall this way, isn't there? Yeah, so what's that? I didn't see that before. Good job I came back. Zeng, your login is Zengl. Your password is Hey Roller. Again, don't need it. Just don't need it. Let's get back down. And let's get back to Malik. Um. 
this way. Yeah, it's this room. Because those bastards can't have a... You're coming with me in the most dignified way possible. This is so, so dignified. Ooh, scraping her face across the floor. Such a pretty face. Or it was before I did that. Right, what's through here? Um, well, I'm not leaving her in here. Okay. I just... I want to find a better place for her than on a harvester operating table. Because there don't seem to be any harvesters left. Um, let's see. Is there an elevator somewhere to the surface? I think there might be. Um, or I might just have to drag her up. All the, oh, sorry. I might have to drag her up all the slopes. Um, oh yeah, there's this, but it doesn't go to the surface, it just goes higher up. And this is... an elevator that's not there. I'm gonna... Ooh, take that ammunition. Right, come on Malik. Uh, let me check over here. Nothing here. Okay, let's grab it by the hand. It's, it's a little more dignified. Not much. Oops. Uh, I can take that. Come on, Malik. You're coming with me. Away from this place of horror. There's a turret. It's not attacking me. Ooh, what's this? Malik, you stand guard here. And I want to check this out. I don't think I'll be able to drag her through the vents. Can I switch this off? Somewhere. Not seeing any switches. No, no switches. Um. Oh, this is above that room. Oh, it just lets you drop into it. Well, we don't want to go there. That would just be heading back the way we came. Who? Oh. Hi. I guess we're on the same side now. Can't talk to him though. Taking his electrics. That switched the electricity off. Oh, he's asleep, that's why you won't talk. So, oh, laser rifle battery. Well, we're not using the laser rifle, are we, so? He won't mind me hacking this then, well. While he's asleep. What do I need to hack it for, though? Well, for the experience, why not? Again, can't take the big red thing. There's just that one reward there. 
I'm going to go down this way. Set myself up next to the exit. And then, oh, there's no detections happening. This probably will. But it's already too late, it didn't. Access granted. No detections. And all for 10 coins. Mm, turrets disabled. I could turn them on my enemies. Just in case they're. Uh, my enemies when I come back. If I am coming back. I probably have to to let Tongue know what's going on. Which means they'll probably still be friendly. Oh well. It's a precaution. It's a precaution. And. Right, let's keep heading. If I can. Grab ya. We're heading up, hopefully, to the exit. Uh, I probably won't be able to drag her through a doorway, will I? So that'll lead back outside. Exit to Lower Hengsha, but... Ah, this is the top of that staircase. But unfortunate... Come on, grab her. There you go. I won't be able to. I can't activate the door while I'm holding on to her. I'm sorry, Farida, this is as far as you can go. I'm just going to lean you up against the wall. I'm going to try. Just... Just there. Um, maybe... Maybe someone will find you. And, um, give you a proper burial. But for now, she'll have to stay there guarding the door duty. Okay, these guys are friendly now. You got a free pass from the boss. But don't try anything stupid. Or you're going to end up at spare parts. Yeah. Yeah. So you think. Huh. Well, kind of good. What do you need? You should be. He's always been soft, really. You should uh, use that to your advantage and take over. No. Where am I headed? There are two quest markers. Pretty much in the same place that away. I was roaming around the sewers looking for the other quest. But I don't think it's these sewers. So we're gonna have to find some more. Is this a dead end? This is a dead end. I like the art. Did you draw it? That doesn't make sense. It's not the way through anyway. Let's head this away then. What is this? Is this the hotel? Might be in the basement of the hotel. Ah, uh, not the basement, but the lower end. I think this is Hengsha Court Gardens. Let's see. Ah, we can take the big red thing. 
but we have to go around. No biggie, let's do that then. Oh, it's already detected. But it's a slow one. <laughs> so, it's not really a problem. Access granted. Get to check out this room. Hey, there's someone actually home. What have you been working on? Who are you calling a loser? I mean, look at your decoration. You call me a loser. The Science and Theory Behind Cochlear Implants by Hugh Darrow. Excerpt from a paper in Neo Nature, February 2010. A cochlear implant is a small electronic device implanted into the cochlea which aims to restore a very basic level of hearing to the deaf or severely hard of hearing. They are the most widely used neuroprosthetics in the US. In order to understand how a cochlear implant works, one must first understand how the human ear works. Sound waves travel through the air and are funneled into the auditory canal by the pinna, the outer part of the ear that we can see. The sound waves travel down the auditory canal and put pressure on the tympanic membrane, also known as the eardrum, causing vibration of the ossicles on the other end of the eardrum. This vibration continues through the ossicles and puts pressure on the oval window attached to the cochlea. The cochlea is where the sensation of hearing occurs. It is a fluid-filled space that spirals like a seashell. Within the spirals of the cochlea are small hair cells called the organ of corti. When pressure is put on the oval window, the fluid within the cochlea moves and some hair cells are pressed down. When this happens, the hair cells become activated and transmit this information to the brain. Different perceptions of sound are based on the different combinations of sound waves pressing down various hair cells in the organ of corti within the cochlea. People who are deaf or hard of hearing may have an ineffective cochlea or damage to that area. They may also have damage to the ossicles that transmit sound vibration. Educational. Ooh. That's mine now. Loser. Taking your ammunition as well. He doesn't have much else. I can move his fridge. There. How do you like them apples? Nothing in here, no. Toilet chocolates. Let's get out. Let's keep going up to level three. I'm hoping to come out on the roof at some point. Shall I uh, try out another apartment? Go on then. Just the one. I won't do any more after this. We could be all day looting the entire hotel. Let's go for the big red thing. Got one there. One there. Oh, that's a one way street. Should have checked that first. Don't matter, it made this one easier. Nice easy hack. Well, Access granted. it was a level one. And this time no one's home. Oh, yeah. oh, they're on the toilet. No, no one here. Keep revolver ammo in the bathroom. Must be constipated. Nothing else here apart from 103 credits. And some reading material. Dazzle Me magazine. Updated every report cycle with the newest in celebrity news and gossip. Current top rated articles. Exclusive! We talk with Eliza Kassan about life on the newsline and the private life she keeps behind closed doors. Nyashia Akim spotted on the town with a new man. See our spy cam pics here. Me love soulful singer Brock Nyman speaks frankly about his destructive relationship with his mother and his struggle with addiction. MDM unveils their fall collection in a teaser photo spread. Paris's weather artists and the new wave. Paris's weather artists? 
okay? Fashion plate or fashion hate, we let you decide the best and the worst in our interactive section. A tribute to Emil, life in the spotlight. Jocasta Beltrain, author of the mega-selling romance Hearts of Steel, talks exclusively about the new feature film adaptation starring Liash and Ruby De Silvio. This year's Academy Award predictions, who will go home a loser? They're all losers, that's, that's the thing. That's the secret. Right. Roof, so there were no more apartments anyway. Now is this where we dropped the guy off the roof? I think it is. I think it is. Looks like they've got rid of the body anyway. Okay, which direction are the quest markers? Over here? Let's jump. Quite the entrance, and oh, we're here again. Might as well sell some things that we don't need. Oh yeah, sorry. Oh, best in town. You have to actually talk to him. Don't need combat rifle ammo. Don't need the laser rifle battery. Don't need revolver ammo. Don't need machine pistol ammo. And I'm not selling anything else. I've got rather a lot of these though. They only stack up to five. So I can sell three. I might never use them. But they may come in useful if I need to hack while under fire. And I'll keep that just in case I find a plasma rifle. And it's a suitable replacement for the sniper. And I'll see if he has any ammo that I will use. Can top up my tranquilizer darts. And stun gun darts. And... Oh, he's not got anything else. That's fine. Come back any time. I may not. Let's get out of here. Let's find the quest marker. Into the other half of town. I'm going to sprint. Because I actually can sprint a bit now. Yeah, that's much better than before. That's much better. Am I heading away from the quest markers though? That was pretty stupid. Um, through here then? And yep. Quest markers both. Ahead. And... Gotta watch out for so cops now. Oh, look where we are. This is Ben Tower business. Back off. Come out. Bell Tower. Last warning, sir. Move away. Right. You shouldn't be here. I'm leaving. Okay, they didn't properly recognize me. Something's going on at the hive, though. Hmm. Um. Where's the quest markers? How do I get there? Um. Hey, hey! I know you. You're the one Bell Tower is looking for. I seen your picture. You got the wrong guy. What's it worth to you for me to think so? Be a simple thing for me to yell out. Maybe a few credits keep my mouth shut, huh? Hell no. Fifteen hundred? Yeah. We're, we're not taking any shit from this guy. How about I find some other way to keep it shut? Permanently. That... that won't be necessary. I see now that you're much taller than the man they're looking for. I thought you might see things that way. 
Now move it. Yeah, bitch. Um, I have no idea where I'm headed, though. Bell Tower, Bell Tower. Okay, I think I'm gonna check the map out. I am here. The quest markers are two levels below me. Both down. Hang on, that's the sewer level. That's just above the sewer level. This is basement level. Um, but the guy I was looking for could be in this section or in this section. I'm going to go to where both of the other quest markers are and then if he's not there then we'll come across to this sewer but if he happens to be on this side we'll get them all together which would be nice so we'll head that away um, so I need to Head back across there, down that alleyway, and then turn right and come to the end and find these stairs, which will lead to here, which will lead to here. So I'm going to go across the roof though because there might be less bell tower that way so just occurred to me there's an entrance to the sewer in there but don't get your panties in a bunch if you get hung up on if we detect um, the suspicious fluctuation in signals, I'll come back to it we've got to the place where both of the other quest markers are but I can always come back to the hotel, at least I know where it is. At least I know where it is. Um, I just want to check on what's her name while I'm passing. Ah, oh, she's gone. She's probably working. So let's just get out and onto the roof. And then I think it's... Whoa. Whoa, that was... Low. Damn, son. Ooh. Have I seen this one? Tomorrow is green. A blueprint for saving the Earth. The plain truth of it is this. We as a species have brutally abused our mother world and now only we as a species, in concert, can heal it once more. How do we accomplish this? There are many ways and they start with each and every one of us, from taking individual responsibility to reduce one's carbon footprint through to larger and more proactive projects requiring dynamic, cross-national cooperation, such as close orbit mirrors, orbital microsatellite mirrors capable of deflecting sunlight, green tech energy solutions, solar power cells, wind farms, wave power, iron seeding, stimulating ocean plankton to consume carbon, cloud ships, mobile wind powered vessels capable of turning seawater into white counter solar clouds via weather modification, synthetic trees, nature imitative carbon capture technologies, deep ocean water displacement, Piping systems to draw water from the ocean depths up to stimulate the Earth's capacity for self-healing. I've never heard of that one. Is that a real thing? The others are, but I've never heard of that one. That's an interesting one. Anyway, check the map. I am here. And I want to head... Um, 
Yeah, I just want to head to my right as it stands. But I can go over this little bridge. And down to the street. This away. Okay. And I think I'm loads of quest markers just split up. Hi. I have. I don't trust them. Anyway, looks like we're in the vicinity of this side quest, which I... I need to do without killing anyone. And I'm also out of time, so it'll have to wait until the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.